Oh, hi. No sprog. No. Her name's Bethany. Martin's looking after her today. And your mum actually let you out of the house? Well, I helped her clean out the loft this morning, so she thinks I'm a reformed character. It's a pity you couldn't stay long the other day. Why, are you enjoying yourself? I might have been. Why were you? All kidding. Yeah, that's the trouble with you. You never know if you're joking or not. So, did you then? Enjoy yourself. What do you think? Well, I don't know. You left so quickly, anyone would have thought I'd been eating garlic. I like garlic. Are you ever going to give me a straight answer? Probably not. I don't know why I bother with you sometimes. It's because you fancy me. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you can't deny it. Does this mean we're going out together, then? Well, we're out and we're together, so it must do, eh? Oh, right. So you're just mates, are you? What's it got to do with you? I just want to know why you lied to me. I didn't. Yeah, right. Anyway, I can see who I like. I thought it had better taste than that, though. Come on. She has. That's why she's going out with me and not you. You know what? Next time I go out some of my own age, not a stupid little kid like you. You're the kid sulking over what you can't have. You all right, Ken? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. And it's Mr Barlow, if you don't mind. Uh, sorry, Ken, I keep forgetting. Come on, you. <laughs> You're right, Todd. Yeah. Suppose you heard all that before, did you? Yes, I did. Yes, I'm sorry. If there's any consolation, I agree with you. I thought Sarah would have had better taste, too. Yeah, well, obviously I'm not exciting enough for her. Maybe I should start bunking off, eh? Oh, I hope not. Don't worry. I'm not about to chuck my future away. Even if she is. Mind if I join you? Oh, I'd be pleased to have the company. Well, you might not be, actually. The thing is, I wanted to have a word with you about Sarah. She's not been missing your lessons again. No, 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 no. Look, tell me to mind my own business, but I was just wondering how well you knew Sarah's boyfriend. Oh, she hasn't got a boyfriend at the moment. Ah. Has she? Well, I couldn't help overhearing her and Aidan talking to Todd a bit earlier, and they made it pretty clear they were going out together. Aidan Critchley? Yeah. She told me they were just friends. Well, no wonder she was keeping that quiet. She knows I didn't take to the lad. In fact, it's since he started turning up that she started missing school. Caught them drinking the other week. Mm. And he's a cheeky young lad. He has an answer to everything. Well, I've been on the receiving end of that as well, but I think you're right to be worried. He can be a very disruptive influence. I've had a couple of run-ins with him, one of about my car, which was vandalised. Well, thank you for telling me. And don't worry. When I've got through with her, she'll not be seeing him for much longer. So he's not your dad, then? No, he's my mum's boyfriend. My real dad died when I was about two. How? Took on some blokes outside a club and got stabbed. Cool. No, it's not. No, I just meant, well, that's the way it go out, isn't it? Out with a bang, doing something exciting. I'd rather die young like that than uh, grow old and boring like my old fella. You're weird, do you know that? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? You're nothing but an insolent young layabout whose idea of fun is to bunk off school and get drunk. Well, you can ruin your own life, that's up to you. But you're not ruining hers. Now go on, get out and don't bother coming back. Mum! Go on. You've not to see her again. It's a bit difficult when we go to the same school, isn't it? <sighs> don't you try and get smart with me. Get out! See you tomorrow, Sarah. Could you embarrass me like that? We weren't even doing no, anything. No, but you would have been by the looks of things. Oh, so you're saying you don't trust me? No, Sarah, I don't trust you. You've already made one mistake and now you're heading towards another. Well, I won't have it. Maybe I've been too trusting with you. Maybe that's the problem, but there's an end to it now, OK? You have not to see him again. Oh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to lock me in my bedroom? Stop me going to school? You might as well face it, Mum. Me and Aidan are going out together and there's nothing you can do about it. And I hate you for what you just did! 